long is this patch? This patch is 13 days long. Oh, this looks so good. It's so clean. Oh, is it gonna take me to hard pity? You've gotta be kidding. You're not my sleepy daughter. It's a charm tea. What I tell you, I always get lucky. <laughs> Hello, friends and gamers. Welcome to I Forgot to Download the PC Client for Aethergazer. And that's what we're doing right now. My entire OBS disappeared, by the way. When that, you, you guys heard the, the noise, the Windows download noise, my entire OBS disappeared. I don't know if we're still recording even. I think we are. But yes, Aethergazer has a PC launcher beta. And I have been begging for a PC client for Aethergazer literally since the thing launched. So... You think I would remember to download the thing I've been waiting for since the game launched globally? You know, even before that, because I did the closed beta for Aethergazer and was like, damn, I want a PC launcher. You think I would remember to download it? No, I forgot. Um, and now I can't do this properly. I think that's the right folder. Yeah. It doesn't matter that much because it's technically it's a, a beta test. It's an open beta test. Anyone can download the PC client. But as the resident, I play all my mobile games on PC gamer. I, I need this. <laughs> Because sometimes the mobile controls on my emulator, my emulator in general just gets funky. I just tried to update it from Google Play. It wouldn't let me update it. It just was stuck in like pending hell for like a while. Anyways, we're going to open this and see how long it is. Aethergazer isn't a huge game, I don't think. So it shouldn't take that long. I think I installed it in the right place. Let's hope. Let me show it. Can I show off the launcher just really quickly? I've learned how to use OBS properly, by the way. There's the launcher. We can look at it. <laughs> oh, start gamer. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to log in. Also, it's not full screen, weirdly enough. I'm, I'm global, though. Oh, it's clean. <laughs> She's clean. It's probably going to be really loud, by the way. I might have to mute. Once upon oh, a time, cute. A That's cute. Wait. 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 Let me show this all, please. Here, will it work? It this is so cute. Piece. We can't watch it right now because it's not working properly. But it's the Oneroi patch. I knew we were getting new Oneroi, which I don't think I have her original mod form. This is gonna take a while. Hold on, let me see if I can get this pop popped up. Uh, is this the launcher? Cause I'm getting weird OBS pop-ups now. Game is built on Chromium, cannot be captured using game capture, use window capture or display capture. It's that, that must be the launcher, right? But it's also like the actual game client is not showing up. But I was having this issue last night with Infinity Nikki. I still can't get that thing to load, by the way. I, I undownloaded it. I probably will try to redownload. Why won't it work? I'm just trying things. I guess we'll just have to do window capture, I guess. There she goes. This is going to take a while. I don't know why we started the video now. I probably should. If, if I had this muted properly, I could have had this in the background when we recorded something else. Remember how I said Aethergazer isn't a beefy game? I think I lied. I will say the other really fun part about this is that I thought that today was a half patch, not like a full here's a new patch. So the last patch, I did nothing in it. <laughs> like literally nothing. I, w one, I Last night, I went to go log in last night at like 10 p.m. Cause I'm like, yeah, yeah, there's still time. I, I hope. I go to log in at like, it was like 10.05. Server's under maintenance. And then it was under maintenance for like 12 hours. So, and you know, what are you gonna do? Games sometimes have to be down longer for maintenance. That's okay. But I wasn't expecting it. So here we are. Uh, not uh, 22 hours later. It's not been 24 yet. By the time this finishes downloading though, it might be 24. I don't know what to do with this information now because it's going to be really loud when it finishes. So I guess I just sit here. Okay, one thing we can do, we can look at patch notes here so we can don't have to do what we get in game. So we can do this now. This is such pretty art. I will say that is very pretty. Oh my God, wait version event pre is this just for this, this the version event or is this every no this is everything okay cool how long is this patch because october 15th to october 28th is like a week oh my god no no shot wait that's like the whole what do you mean we had such a long patch and i didn't do a single thing during it and now we have a patch that's like a week long wait <laughs> this is not new for either user they do this frequently where they'll have like weird patch lengths but i think this is a new this is a new I don't want to say a new low because it's not bad per se, but it's also like, wait, what? <laughs> we'll look for sure when we get in game if this is like actually the, the length. Okay, it's not like a week. It is more like a week and a half. No, it's two. It's technically 13 days because the 28th is a Monday. This patch is 13 days long. Okay, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. That feels wrong. Because so there's no half patch this time around. It's literally just this, I think. Because, like, 
I'm like, it can't just be that, right? Unless it's, because it says that Sweet Dream Journey is a side story. So it's not a main thing. It's the side story for Oneiro's new mod form, right? There's a sign in event though, that goes to the 28th. Joint defense agreement goes to the 28th. So I'm like, is this like a side event page? Cause sometimes they'll do that where they have like extra stuff, like another, like essentially another patch rerun running at the same time as like a main patch, but it's not as long, obviously. But then that's confusing because I don't think this event has ever been run on global because we don't have this on Aero. <laughs> like she doesn't exist. Logistics Depot is, I'm mean, thinking it's the shop for joint defense, maybe. Yeah, participate in joint defense agreement uh, to earn supply list one, which can be exchanged for items at the logistics department. Department Depot, same difference. But yeah, that goes to the 28th. Sweet Kitchen goes to the 28th. I'm assuming all these events will go the same amount of time because to have it any less than that would be kind of insane behavior. Obviously, I can't tell what any of these are really right now, but I mean, for the Logistics Depot, it looks like we'll be getting some Onera stickers, which makes total sense. Name card from Sweet Kitchen called Kindness. Pick out and collect various dishes from the kitchen and cook up a storm with Verit. That sounds fun, actually. We're probably going to do like at least one or two event rush videos for this patch because I'm probably going to do it all in one go. Wonderland card game. You know, I, I love Alice in Wonderland. And here's where we get some insane behavior because this ends on October 22nd. For some reason, Wonderland card game, a complete daily tasks and challenge to obtain bun bun candy, which makes sense because I believe... Okuni Nishi is also getting a rerun this patch, which if I don't pull for Onero, I will be pulling for Okuni Nishi because I have her outfit from like last patch or the patch before, but I don't have her. I thought I had her, but I don't. <laughs> I had her in the beta I was talking about earlier. Yeah, so I just thought I got her when I first started the game and was like, okay, yeah, it wasn't before that. No, it was before that. Yes, it's been like probably two years since that Aether Gaze are closed beta, and I still mix up with which characters I had only in that beta and only at release, but not not all of them. But Bun Bun Candy is used to participate in games, unlock clues and get rewards. It's pretty basic rewards. You probably don't need to do Wonderland card game, which is good because it's the shortest one. It's also a daily task thing, though. So I think it's just like more like a login event. Log in, do your dailies, get your Wonderland card game, Bun Bun Candies and leave like that sort of thing. Cause it's like good stuff. Like there's reconstructors, there's sigil stuff. Like there's stuff you'll use, but it's not like dire if you don't get it. Maybe the six reconstructors, but like, it's not like the end of the world if you don't do Wonderland card game. Imago Nightmare. Once again, we don't talk about Imago Nightmare. One day I'll do Imago Nightmare properly, but that today is not that day. Uh, but that goes until October 28th. I think there's only one round of Imago Nightmare this time around because there's that's all we have time for. Yeah, there's 14 days in a round. This patch is less than that. <laughs> technically, it is more like 14 because of when maintenance falls and things like that. Technically, it's more of 14, but it is what it is. It's 13 days, technically. Limited training goes right at the start of the patch to the right at the end of the patch. I'm happy they're starting limited training right away because sometimes they don't do that. But considering we don't have that much time in this patch, I like that they're doing it like this. We have character trials, which will be for Dream Shade Oneroi, our new character, I believe. Puppet Master Hades, so she's the rerun. Early Sakura Okuninushi, which is the other one. I don't think they're writing down the the A grades. I don't know. But those are our S ranks at the very least. There's outfit trials, the years. Who is okay, Sweets and Fairy Tales is the one for Oneroi. Muse's tea party is for Hades. That's nothing new. I don't think it says the A grades. And then also our regular scan that goes the whole length of the patch is Okuni Nushi. I will probably pull for her just because I have her outfit and want to put it on her. I need to do something with it. I don't know who her A grades are. I'm going to be so real because then here it's just the stuff about Oneroi. I genuinely don't know. But we got the PC beta clients. Heck yeah. New main screen and BGM. Admin can now switch to command center lobby. I want to take a look at that. I'm probably going to keep my pretty summer yacht. Um main screen but i do want to see what that's about i think that's about it new challenge mode regular gameplay optimizations that's about it so she's still going <laughs> why is this i don't remember this game has never been this beefy i mean to be fair i've not re-downloaded aether gazer mobile client 
since I downloaded it when I started the, picking when I picked the game back up almost like a year ago at this point I think it's I think it'll be a year in December so it's like been 10 months since it's been 10 months since I picked Aether Gazer back up and I've been playing it pretty consistently I haven't read down like deleted and redownloaded it in that time so I don't remember how beefy the game is or if it got beefier I don't know but like there's little updates but that seems to be about it again this patch is like weirdly short but I mean, I'm kind of hoping because this ends October 28th. Maybe we'll get some fun spooks on October 29th. That would be great. It's just close enough to Halloween where we could get like a four day event, like, a, like the length of an anime convention, <laughs> but it's a Halloween event. Literally, you can make it a login event. I don't care. I just want some spooks. Come on, give me the spooks. I, I kind of doubt it though, because I think we're still a little bit behind uh, Chinese servers for the game. So I'm not really sure. Also, we're just like doing extra yapping now because I have nothing else to do while the game downloads and is super beef. Why is it this beefy? Why is it 26,278.63 megabytes? Why is, I don't remember it being that huge. Anyways, I don't know. I'm gonna go do like a tier maker or something. I need to do something that's not like, won't be interrupted by me getting blasted in the ears with Aether Gaze your client, because it's going to be loud. Well, this is insane. Um, It took, I have no idea how long that I was paused my recording for. I think it took at least two hours to download everything. And now I have to wait for English voice pack, which I am downloading the English voice pack. I want the full experience. This is beautiful, by the way. <laughs> like, they, there is UI updates. I don't know if they're in the mobile client, but like this game looks so good on PC. <laughs> This is why I wanted a PC client, all right? This is why I wanted a PC client. I'm so serious right now, because this always happens. The same thing happened when PGR launched their PC client. I was in shock. And you know what? It's, I've been playing this game for at least like two years because I had beta access. I am in shock because it's beautiful. This game has never looked this beautiful and I am so happy about that. I think the only thing is, and I'm right, while well, it's downloading, I'm playing around with getting game capture to work properly. I think that the only thing is, is that I have to use window capture, not game capture, which is a bit annoying, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. Like it could be worse because it's just, it's like not showing up at all. Yeah, it's just not showing up, which is weird, but it shows up on game capture. Well, I, like I, it doesn't work with game ca capture, but it works with window capture. And obviously it works with display capture as well. It's just a little bit annoying because I found, I finally figured out how to properly record stuff in OBS like last night and I can't do that this way so my model software is a little glitchy but that's probably because i had to switch to full screen and that switch to full screen kind of messed me up a little bit regardless this looks so good so far i'm so happy with her i did say i was gonna record other stuff while it downloaded i didn't i went on twitter instead and i'm just gonna bring it up here but the anime impulse saga has finally gotten a happy ending for those of you who don't know i have gotten Actually, part of this is like, no, I haven't really said it yet. I had two industry badges for two straight Anime Impulse events in California, and I didn't go for multiple reasons both times. Um, the first time it was a family thing, and then, then the second time I found out kind of like later than I would have liked, and I was like, literally, I found out right before I was going to leave for DreamHack. So I was like, this is not happening. It's like next week. I, I can't make this work. Um, so unfortunately, we've had two fails at going to Anime Impulse, but they, they announced next year's schedule and they're coming to Texas. So <laughs> the saga finishes. At the very least, I will be going to one Anime Impulse event next year. <laughs> I probably will try to attend some of the California ones as well, but at the very least, we're going to Dallas. And I will be able to celebrate my birthday there because it's like less than a week after my birthday. So I'm going to get to celebrate my birthday at an anime convention. <laughs> we can complete that now because now I finally have the English audio completed. I just want to use it because I like it. Oh, this looks so good. It looks so good. <laughs> and like the UI and everything, it looks so good. I believe we got extra rewards because of the extended maintenance. Uh, we got, I have 1080 shifted stars here and I just logged in the other day to grab some stuff. So I'm pretty sure Oh, the UI is, it's so clean. And like, to be fair, I'm not really having any graphical issues with my OBS either. My model software is glitching out a little bit, but everything else seems okay. The only thing is I have to go through like all the like the new login stuff because this is technically my first time logging in on a new client. So y'all know the drill. We got to go through everything. It just, it looks so clean. I can't get over it. It looks so good. What is it? What do you want from me here? Do you just want me to look at it? What do you, what do you want from me in the missions? Man, I don't know. 
I feel like there's stuff it wants me to click on, but... Oh, my swigs. My login swigs. Yeah. What do you want from me? Oh, there you go. Maybe that's a glitch that sometimes the dailies stuff don't load in properly. I also have to bump down some of the sounds, I feel like, still. And I might have just thrown myself into a tutorial. Hi, Mimir. We're not doing this right now, Mimir. It's just, it looks so good. I know we have skills. Also, why did it, like, refresh where my little guys go? I'm getting thrown into tutorial. I don't need the tutorials. I Do I need the like on-screen things that tell you where everything is and what buttons to use? Yes, because I'm using keyboard controls. We get to try this game with keyboard controls. I just wanna go back into settings and lower my music still. It's still a little loud. I don't wanna make it that low, but I feel like that's probably for the best. It's just loud. Don't know why this game is so loud because it's loud in the mobile client too. So I'm not like surprised. Shop, shop, shop. I just want my, my I just want my logins stuff. It's just, it looks so clean. Now I'm seeing why I was having issues updating it on my emulator and why it took so long to download because this is like an entire overhaul. It's so good. <laughs> I'm never gonna shut up about this, I swear. It's just, it looks good. We only have Sweet Dream Journey, so that it is just a really short patch. I'm almost assuming that the they did a short patch. One, because they had this side event for Oneroy, and two, probably just to test out the PC client. I would assume. But if we go to Sweet Dream Journey, oh, that's, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, that's so good. It's a side story, so we might try to do it. I'm not, I don't know. We have S grade Dream Shade Oneroi, which we'll get to in a second. I obviously love her two different eyes, obviously. All right, joint defense agreement. We have login stuff. Even like this, I have it set to 60 frame cap. It still looks so good. Sweet Kitchen, which I think was also a little bit of a login thing, unsure. We have Wonderland card game. No, Wonderland card game was the login. Okay, pretty, pretty. Oh, the music is so good. We're skipping Imago Nightmare because I said so. Literally, as I sit here, Aether Grazer tweets that the PC client test is now open. Maybe it just didn't open and that's why it was like lagging out on the download. We have unlimited trading, though we have Dream Shade. We have Hades. We have El Kuninushi and we have Enlil, which I do have some levels on so I can quick claim. I think... I thought I had levels on Hades as well, but see, limit time remaining is 13 days and two hours. I was right. This patch is 13 days long. I do. I probably will pull for Dream Shade. Just, I love an era. She's my daughter. There's our outfits and there's our trials. So speaking of those character trials, we only have for the three S grades, which is a bit strange, I feel like. I'm wondering who the A grades are on the banners, but we'll get to that in a second. First of all, we're going to run through Okuninushi and Hades. Even they changed this screen. It looks so good. It's going to take a little bit of time for me to get used to, I think, but it looks so good. I'm so impressed. This is really nice. Like, I wasn't expecting this much of an, a UI overhaul going into the PC client test, but it's so good. <laughs> okay, so, all right. Um, um, I have to figure out how to combat now. Um, that's my dodge. Okay, so th we have an ult. Um, I don't know how to fight. I don't know how to fight. What? Where's, is it J technically? Okay, so it would be this. I hope we get some way to change the button layout because this is not good. I'm going to be so real right off the bat. Customized ba battle interface. Thank you. This is not, because like you can't have the dash all the way over here while your attack button is all the way over here. I, it's just, it's not working. I'm almost thinking I'm going to move it over here in the corner and have my dash like right above, kind of like this. You can't see the layout, but that's kind of how I have it. I think this worked. And then I don't, I need the Joy-Con. I can just kind of have all the way in the back corner here. I don't need it to be super big because I am not using it. I'm using WASD. I think that's okay now. It's just having it like that. Like having the skills here is fine. Like it just, it doesn't work. So I'm going to move that around a little bit as well. I want to see if I can change my dodge. <laughs> I want to see if I can change it because I, for my dodge, I generally use X or the right mouse button and it let me change it to that. Okay, cool. That works. It did let me change it to that. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, let's go back. So that works so well. All right. See that moving it to the dot, moving it to my right mouse button and using my left mouse button to actually do the clicks. That works so well and I love it. Thank God. Okuninushi is very slow, which doesn't surprise me for her, but like... <laughs> I still want to pull for her to get her outfit, though. I think I have some standard... Um, ooh, they changed this as well, which I really like this switch up as well because you can see her character. That's really cool. I am I feel like this should be, like, for an anniversary or something. When is the one-year anniversary? Didn't, no, we got our one-year anniversary. I recorded a clip. 
up for that special program thing. <laughs> we did that already. This feels like we should have gotten this a month ago, but you know what? Better late than never. God, it's so good. All right, Hades trial, let's go. It gets better, Hades trial. Yeah, just switching up the button interface kind of fixed everything. Just because how they had it set up was, it wasn't good. Also, I love the dream shade music um, because it's just a little spooky. Oh, let me close the menu there. Yeah, it just, everything looks so good. That took like two seconds. Wow. I'm having so much fun with this. I'm having so much fun with this. I, I do want to turn off the button labels, but I have button labels on for now while I'm still learning. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. I'm going to say it right now, full chest. If for whatever reason you're watching this and don't play Aether Gazer, please start playing it once they officially release. You can start, I, I would say you can start playing it now during the open beta because it's an open beta. But the thing there is they're going to take it away probably on the 28th. <laughs> So I'm like, I don't get into it when they officially launch this, but also it still might look really good on um, mobile. I'm not really sure. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna have to go back to mobile after this and I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> the same thing happened with PGR though. All right, Dream Shade Oneroi. Let's see how she works. Just this, she's like floats. I don't remember how her original kit works because I don't have her, but we'll see. I do like that her music is a little bit spooky sounding though. It's a creepy little music and I have always love a creepy little music. Complimentary. You would think that would be a derogatory thing. No, it's complimentary. So how does she work? We have a little bit of our tutorial here. So Eternal Slumber, I'm assuming. I don't know what her skill one is. Eternal Slumber deals shadow damage skills also replaced by its derivative skill, Deep Dream. Deep Dream then expends energy and deals shadow damage as well as additional shadow damage based on current energy level. Each use of this skill or its derivative skill grants one nightmare. Cause she only has like skills one, skills one and three so far. So that Eternal Slumber, Deep Dream, this must be skill one. And then skill three, I'm assuming is Lucid Dream from Gates of Horn. We actually can go in here and see yeah, so Eternal Slumber is skill one, and then Lucid Dream is skill three. Okay, so skill three then. You tap to trigger this skill to deal shadow damage. Also expends all nightmares available, then Sweet Dreams. Effects vary depending on the number of nightmares and Sweet Dreams expended. Nightmare, though, is expending nightmare grants energy depending on the number of nightmares expended, and then Sweet Dream grants nightmares, which in turn provide a certain number of attack boosts accordingly. Okay, so we're gonna hit that skill one. Hit it the derivative and then hit skill three. Okay. Skill two then is going to be this middle one. This one right here. I realize you probably can't see the buttons, but I have to have them in this pop because I will not know where they are otherwise. Anyways, distant daydream skill two deals shadow damage. Skills also replaced by its derivative skill daydream. I think it was the same in skill one had. Was it the same derivative skill? Don't remember. But daydream expends energy and deals shadow damage. Attack is boosted by on current sweet dream count. Each use of this skill grants one sweet dream. And then we have the skill three again, tap to trigger to deal shadow damage and expense nightmares. So we're going to hit skill two, skill two, skill three, skill three. She does look like she heals a little bit as well. I was seeing that. Then we have her ult, False Dream from Gates of Ivory, triggers or refreshes the Ethereal Dream state. Ethereal Dream increases the shadow damage dealt by all members of the team, so she kind of is more of a flex character, I feel like. It seems like she buffs other shadow characters, but also you could probably use her as a DPS if you really wanted to. Expending energy... Where's my mouse? Oh, it's on the other screen. There it is. Okay, <laughs> my mouse disappeared for a second. That scared me. We're having some... Okay, there's my mouse. There, we're good. We're good. My, that might be a glitch as well, but... uh. Expending energy equal to max energy when the energy bar is full grants a dreamful slumber. Dreamful slumber ends when ethereal dream state is triggered or refreshed. Dreamful slumber then hits landed with a shadow attack by any member of the team. That's where the flex spot comes in. Reduce the shadow resistance of the hit enemy and deal extra shadow damage. When in the ethereal dream state, there's more. Lucid dream from Gates of Horn, skill three, is replaced by moment of waking. And lucid dream from Gates of Horn is automatically triggered at a certain interval. Moment of waking then triggers roused, ends ethereal dream state, and deals shadow damage. And then we just keeps explaining everything. Rouse deals additional shadow damage to the locked on target for every shadow attack. She would probably be a better DPS if you have like a single target thing going on. Uh, but shadow attack landed by any member of the team during the current instance of ethereal dream. So I guess if you're doing like a single target opponent with a, on a shadow team, that's, that would probably be the best use case. And then it grants ultimate skill. Yeah. Distant daydream. What is distant daydream? It was just, we just talked about it, didn't we? I don't remember. I think her distant daydream is just her normal, if I'm not mistaken. I'm like running out of time on this stage, but it's fine. Distant daydream is actually skill two. And then lucid dream from Gates of Horn is skill three. So it kind of just goes in that order. Okay, so we have her ult right there. I love the effects here. Then we do her skill two. 
And skill three ends it all. All right, I see that. Would have loved to see that a little bit more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, well, Dream Glimmer was, I think, the HP recovery. Recovered to energy at a certain... Energy? Did she, How did she heal earlier? Was that just, like, part... Oh, her dodge is so cute! Yeah, having having my dodge bound to a right mouse button makes this so much easier. It really does. And especially as somebody who... My main way to do combat in this game is just go down the, the line for my skills 1, 2, and 3. This makes it really easy, actually, because I they're all in a little line on the bottom, so I could just boop, 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 you know? Oh, so cute. She's so cute. I, I'm going to take a look at my characters, see who I have, and if I have enough characters to do, like, a valid shadow team, and then maybe we'll go for it. I think Hades is shadow. She's either shadow or, like, thunder or lightning or something. I do. I think she's adorable, though, and Onera is my sleepy daughter, because I am also sleepy. So, uh oh I also have 16,000 shifted stars, so, like, we got to do something with them. I just remembered there was one thing I wanted to see with this change. Was it the commands? Oh, let's use it for a hot second. Command center. Oh, it moves them off to the side like in Honkai. Okay. I think I want, like I said, I was, I wanted to keep my, the Twilight Pearl. Um, higher tier landscape. Oh, cause it is, it's higher tier. Cause it's the business yacht. Yeah. I just, I just want it back. <laughs> But I think we can just go to scan now. Kind of made... Oh, wait, no, I want to look at my mods first. Hold on. Let me look at the mo my mods. This looks so good on PC, though. I'm going to keep yapping about it. I love it. We'll probably do a little bit of combat, too, because I have quite a bit of stamina. <laughs> Modifiers. That's what I wanted. So let's filter by shadow. Bastet. Oh, wait, and Anubis. Oh, that sounds fun. Hades as well. I thought Hades was. Okay. Okay. I can make this work. Okay, we can do a shadow team. I bring up Anubis because I actually have quite, I have, he's double S and he's an S grade because I lost a 50-50 and then won it like immediately after with him. <laughs> it was either that or the other way around. I don't really remember, but it was something like that. So any chance I get to like use my bat, to use Anubis, I'm like, give it to me. Give me, give me, give me. I, I'm gonna, I lost a 50-50 and I'm going to use it to my advantage. Now we can scan though. So reg scan, I have two passes for. I just want to grab really quickly. Don't remind me again today. Just really fast. I want to use them because I'm trying to get Okuni Nushi because I have her cute little outfit. Um, We got an A grade. Who's the A? Uh, who do you think it is? Wow. Apollo. I love Apollo. I am going to skip you though. So here's our precise. We still have the anchored precise, which I don't do because it's 90 pity. This one's 70. And I'm actually close because I was pulling for Jilming, but I ended up not getting her. I think I'm going to do two singles because I like to keep it even. Also, we're decently close, but I have Hades, so I'm going to pull for Oneroy. I'm assuming Oneroy, the new Oneroy and Hades work pretty well together. I think the original Oneroy also works really well with Hades. So like it is what it is. Let's use the pass. All right, that's blue. Zenki, bet. Zenki, it's fair. <laughs> I was going to be like, we just got Apollo. It's going to be Zenki. No, that was a lie. All right, I'm going to do that then. Okay, blue again. I think I'm just going to do singles, quite frankly, because I'm at 60, so it's like really close. So this will be 61. Oh, is it going to take me to hard pity? I think I have a 50-50 to win as well. I ain't even going to... I'm not even going to lie. This is updated. What was my last... Ah, uh, uh, blue wolf. In August? Oh, it's been a minute. I just... I was going to say I just didn't log in in September, but I, I didn't log in in September. I was sick. Okay. 62... Oh, I'm nervous now. I am skipping as much as I can. Archaic Oath. All right. At least it's not normal fair. I have her maxed as well as Zenki. So 63. Why am I so nervous? I think it's because it's like shiny and new. I'm like, ah, it's different. Um, Who are the A? Did we even have A grades on these banners? Wait a minute. I didn't process I that. Shoo. Love you, shoot. No, we don't. Wait a damn minute. Did they change it? Did they change it? I think they changed the banners and how they work. I think it's just any A grade now. Okay, that makes it easier for me, I guess. Or maybe not. Great info. Yeah, I guess all the... A there's no up. Oh my... It's all the same now. That's why I, I pulled Archaic Oath, isn't it? Huh. I think I like that, actually. I'm not even going to lie about that. I think I like it. I'm going to be so real with y'all. <laughs> Once again, for whatever reason, Aether Geezer's banner system is remains supreme. I don't know what it is. They, they just... I think every time they change the banners, it may, they make it better somehow. And I love that. I play too many gacha games. I've been hurt too many times. Like, <laughs> I'm used to this, but this is nice. Like, I get having write ups, but like, if we don't have any new A grades, I'm kind of okay with it being an open an open call, if you will. I'm gonna go to hard pity for this. I'm this is 65. I'm going to hard pity for my sleepy daughter. 
All right, 66. I accidentally X that out. You're, this is going to be tragic. This is going to be a tragic moment. <laughs> Top 10 moments before betrayal. Like, this is going to be bad. I'm not going to, I'm not getting sleepy daughter. All right, 67. Dear God. 68. I did singles and it, ah, two away from hard pity. At least, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Sleepy daughter, give me the sleepy daughter. We're gonna, I'm. Admin, <laughs> This is the second time I've lost a 50 50 to float fly mist. <laughs> You've gotta be kidding. I love you, Shu, but th you're not my sleepy daughter. <laughs> no, that was so bad. Do I wanna keep pulling? Because this is a short patch, so I feel like I should just save. I need y'all to see this. Shu, where are you? We okay, Archaic Oath first, fine. Oh, they changed the transcendence menu. Oh my god. We got like character angles now. Okay. Just every time I do anything, it's like, oh, they changed that. Okay. There you go, Apollo. Triple S, baby. Did I pull Gusty Lance? I, I guess I did. All right. Okay. Flow fly mist. I, this is the second time I've lost a 50 50. Let me just do these transcendences. I kind of want to pull. I kind of want to keep pulling. I'm not even going to lie. Should we? I will cap. I'll do two 10 pulls, right? Because I'm at 14,000. I'll stop at like 10K. So we'll do like two 10 pulls and a little bit extra. All right, just humor me. All right, precise scan, 10 pull, let's do it. Cause sometimes I get lucky and I get another five star, five star, no, S grade, like immediately after. Where'd my mouse go? Oh, I lost it. It got, the, I got like flash banged and lost my mouse. Hello, all right, just skip. Hi there. I feel like we need, this might be a hot take, but I feel like we need more B grades. I don't know who would be a B grade, but there's only two. It's Zenki and Ver. And I've maxed them out, so I need we need other B grades, is what I'm saying. All right, to 20, to 20. What I tell you, what I tell you, I always get lucky. And whenever I lose my 50 50, I get the character like two temples later, or it's back to back sometimes. But hi, Zenki, thanks, Zenki. I really appreciate you for this one. And Kali, oh, it cut. They did Kali dirty. It cut off her name. I think I might have maxed out Kali today as well, actually. <laughs> I think I, Kal Kali was one of the characters I had really close to maxing out. Um, sleepy daughter! My sleepy daughter! Her animation's really cool. Oh, it's really like, it's not the best quality because there's so much going on. Uh, cut her name off too! That must be a, a PC beta glitch. I've got so many characters in this one ten pull though. Like it's kind of nutty. Oh my god, another one. Who uh, who's who's gonna be? Kali. I definitely maxed out Kali. <laughs> That's it. I definitely maxed out Kali on this one. Look at that. This is pretty good if I do say so myself. Not bad. I also don't have to do the extra pulls. <laughs> I don't have to do the. I said I would go to ten k, so I would do like what probably like 23, 22 pulls or something. I didn't have to do that. I only did twenty. All right, back to mod screen. Let's go max out Kali and then be done. Actually, we'll do a little bit of character building probably because I have a lot of swigs. Kali, there it goes. Transcend Kali. I did it. I think last time I did pulls, I said Kali's gonna be the first A grade I ever max out. There she is. <laughs> there she is. It happened literally in the next video. Not bad. Also, I like the, the click through uh, on that animation is really satisfying, which is good. Sleepy daughter. Let's do some leveling. What? I like this menu. Uh, can I dismantle? How many do I need? 16 or 15? I can't dismantle enough. So we're just going to go loop. It's the green ones. So because I'm lazy, we're just going to do um, imprint two multiple times. Oh, you can do times five now? Oh my God. Did they also lower the amount of switch? Okay. I'll take the times five. Before it was only times four. There's so many changes. I love it. Uh, but I do just do the highest level necessary because I'm lazy. All right. All right. About gen zones. Oh my. I love this new UI so much. We have the skill chain over here. Okay. Okay. Certain things are cut off. Sure. But this is, it's the PC client beta for the new UI. I love it. I love this so much. It's so good. I am sold. I feel like I'm playing like, I'm, it feels like the closed beta all over again, which technically it is a beta again, but I'm just like in shock forgot how to use uh bosom ball there we go all right skip you and we hit modified okay and we're done okay it's, it's like level two i don't expect anything less Ooh, it looks so good it looks so good confirm took me nine seconds in there guys that's <laughs> because i was way over leveled oh i still need more can i dismantle three i didn't make too many all right quick select to 30 confirm i need five of the green ones Hopefully I still have enough. Awesome, cool. To 40, confirm. 
Uh, now we start need to start crafting. So to Lost Vestiges we go. I need the purple and the blue. So we're going to do imprint four times five. Let's go in. Boom. Get a little bit of limited training in before the end of the video because I was going to record two videos for today. But uh, I think we're just going to have this one and probably a dream hack vlog is what's going to happen today. Oh my God, the new UI is making me like confused on like how I do this. <laughs> just a little bit. Like I'm just a little confused. Oh yeah, warning. Okay. Like I forget how I do my combat, you know? Like I have to relearn it a little bit. I also am kind of rusty with Aether Grade Search just because I was traveling and will be traveling again this weekend. So I've just been like really busy. What a night. What a night. The Anime Impulse Saga finally comes to an end. This is a beautiful update. I'm so happy. What a night. I was having health problems earlier today, but I'm good now. Sometimes all it takes is a silly little gacha game in an anime convention and you're fine. Limit break to 50. Let's go to 50. Oh, I, I hit cancel instead. My bad. To 50. Uh, I think we can keep going on Lost Vestiges. Just go imprint four again. Yeah, I still have swigs. We can only do times four because I don't have enough. And that's totally okay because now we're capping out. So this will be our last run at it. And then we'll just grab our limited training rewards and get out of here. We'll do an event rush and possibly side story video at some point. Because I always say I'm going to do the side story videos and then I don't. But this is a very short patch with like limited content. So we might actually. I almost am thinking about making my buttons a little bigger though for the official PC launch because I don't want to change it up too much because I'm going to have to redo it anyways. But I think for the actual release, I probably make my buttons a little bigger just so maybe move them to the side a little bit so um, everyone can see what I'm clicking, you know, and it's not covered by my VTuber hair. I also don't have enough mats to get her to 60, which is unfortunate. <laughs> That's her. I never gave her an access key. Okay, hold on. I should have enough. We equip, we transcend. Yes, I have just enough. And to tier five. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, look at the codes menu. They changed it. That's adorable. You can unlock and resonate with Dreamland. Oh, I like this menu a lot. Oh, she's young. Cutie. We'll do her skills really quickly while we're here. The level up all button is actually so good. Even if it doesn't level up all because you don't have enough mats or whatever. I love the level up all button. To 20 and I don't have enough mats for that. So we're going to be done with that. And we're just going to say we've done our limited training for the day. <laughs> so if we go down to the limited training, then I can quick claim quite a bit for Oneroi. Is there a little bit of lag when I click buttons sometimes? Yes, but I'm not mad about it. All right. So pretty good progress on Oneroi. We'll, we'll be back, though. We need to do event rushing eventually. So wow, I love it. I love it. It's so good. How have I not hit battle pass yet? What the heck? You think they'd make this battle pass easier because it's like two days long, but I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I have achievements to grab though. But one of these days we're gonna have to finish building Kali because <laughs> I finished, I maxed her out. So we got to do it eventually, right? Like it has to happen. Also, I think I can grab, we have battle pass. Uh, just a million clicks, a million clicks. Okay, I think we're good. I do think we're good. Successful day. Let's look at this art. Sweets and fairy tales. It's so cute. I love it. <laughs> that is going to be it for this video. It ended up being so much longer than I thought. And honestly, so much more of a mess than I thought it would be because I was unprepared. <laughs> but I love, love, love the PC client. I'm going to miss it so much when they literally, Yostar is going to have to take it from my, like out of my cold dead hands at the end of this beta. Because I love it. I love it so much. Even though it's not perfect yet, I'm like, I can see it. And this is like, I'm so happy. But that's it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new ones. As always, I hope everyone had or is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world. And I hope all Dream Shade Oneroi or Hades or Okuninushi wanters will be all of the above hovers. I hit my mic. We're not going to talk about it, but I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.